How's it going out there? Back in with another video tutorial today. I'm going to show you how to update your iPad software wirelessly. Um, ever since iOS 5 came out, they've added a new feature where you don't have to plug up your iPad into a computer to update the software anymore. You can literally do it right from your iPad. You just have to be in Wi-Fi and it will let you update it for you. Now, one of the stipulations to do this is your iPad has to be plugged up into power. So, give me about one second. Let me grab my power cord. So, the way you update your iPad software wirelessly, the first thing you need to have done, your iPad has to be updated to iOS 5. If you're not on iOS 5, you cannot do this, as far as I know. So if your iPad isn't updated and you don't see the stuff that we see on here, it might be because your iPad isn't updated. So update first and then wireless uh, software updates. So getting that out the way, we want to find our settings app. And it looks like a little, it's a gray symbol that has little wheels on it, gears. Tap on that. Okay. And now it takes us into settings. And so I'm already on general, but if you're not, click on general. And then you'll see this on the right side. And you want to go to where it says software update. So tap on that. And then the iPad will look for any updates. And so look, it says that I have an update. So right now, I'm going to go ahead and click on download and install. And so it will actually download the update. And then it will start updating my iPad. Okay. And what's cool is it actually gives you a description of kind of what the update does. So... It says it fixes some bugs for battery life, uh, adds multitasking gestures for iPad 1, uh, blah, blah, blah. You can kind of read it on there. It tells you how many megabytes it takes up. We can also click on learn more if we want to. It'll show you all the compatible devices it works for. So you want to check the list and make sure it works for yours. If not, um, you don't want to mess up your iPad or your iOS device. So now that's out the way, click on download and install, and we're going to jump right in. Uh, it always asks for terms and conditions. Just go ahead and click agree. And now it's updating the software right now. To the end of downloading the, the new update. Uh, well, the blue line is at the end, but it's still kind of stuck right there. But we'll give it a second to go ahead and uh, jump past. And um, basically, as soon as um, you stop seeing all this stuff right here, it means that the update has been downloaded. And then we can get started uh, installing the new update on the iPad. Um, it looks like it's finished. There it is. All right. So now it says software update. iOS 5 will be installed and it's counting down. Your iPad will need to restart when installation is finished. So there it is. It's verifying the update. And now it is updating my iPad software. So I'm just going to show you just a little bit of the process just so you'll know what to expect when you do it on yours. What's cool is you don't need to back up your iPad in order for it to update it wirelessly. Um, when the big updates come, they probably will recommend you do that, but for now you don't have to. So it's going to verify the update for a few seconds and then it will jump right to it. And there it is. It's actually updating right now. So I'm going to pause it and we're going to come back as soon as it's finished. And... That was pretty simple, I hope. So, see you in a sec. Okay, so now your uh, eye patch looks something like this. And this is uh, showing just in between the process of the update. Um, this is kind of the screen it goes to while it's resetting the software and adding the new updates and features. So, you want to wait till that white bar gets all the way across. Don't touch it, don't unplug it, don't turn it off. Just let it sit and do its thing. And then. Um, the update should be over. So I'm going to come back as soon as the white line's gotten all the way across. And I'm going to basically carry all through the process. Alright, so catch you in a sec. Alright, we're just about at the end of the update right here. The white line is getting all the way across. And so now we're going to just see what happens at the next stage of the update. If I'm not mistaken, this might just be the end. This was one of the quicker, smaller updates. When you have to do the really large ones, those will definitely take some time. Um, but let's see, I think it, it turned the iPad off, just reset it. So we see our little cool Apple symbol. And so now the iPad is going to reboot. And, uh-oh, nope, I think it has another another little wave of uh, stuff to go through. So I'm going to take you back in a sec. 
I'm going to show you the whole process just so you're aware. So we'll be back. Uh oh, and there it is. The update is completed. I'm going to hide my password. I'm not going to show you guys that. Boom, 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 boom. And now we are back. And there we go. And that was it. This update literally took like less than 10 minutes. It was really quick. And if we go to settings right here, and we go to software update now, it shows your iPad software's update. We've been successfully updated to uh, 5.0.1. And literally, that's how simple it is to do a software update now. So no more having to plug in your, plug in your iPad to the computer. Just, hey, go ahead and go to general. You're going to go to software update. And it will always let you know when there's a new update available. I would check every couple weeks. Or if you hear about... Uh, update on the online or something and it's just that simple so hope that was helpful and have a good one